All right, this is Randalicious, and this is the first Texas podcast. Podcast, 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 30 seconds because AFK was frowned upon and against the rules. But Didn't even do can, inventory of cooking. Mate, you can go to work. Oh, cool. I, I don't get it. It's weird. I remember back in the day, you saw, well, back in the day being like a year ago, you saw a 126, you're like, oh shit, man. And now it's just like, oh, another 126. Better get a good night's sleep out of that. Or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Damn, like 30 it's, really, it's, really, it's really pretty appalling that it's been going on for so long. And, uh... I got a game. Well, uh, I think we should probably wrap up the uh, the, uh, yeah, talk for like an hour the podcast. It's been 43 minutes, I think, but yeah. Randy's bailing on us because of a basketball game or baseball soon. game. I have no idea. Hey, wait, I need my ID before you go. Um, what? Yeah, you should probably wrap it up, mate. <laughs> I, was, I thought you literally left. We, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that, uh, we only had one more topic left. All right, if you could be any NPC, who would you be? And why? Shit. Uh. <laughs> uh well. I'd be Emerald Benedict. I mean, he's a rich banker. Some say too rich. So he's probably got every two in the mill Bible. What do you think? Maybe. I mean, he's probably, he probably sits there all day and makes battle staffs and does bolts and no one even notices. So. <laughs> I would be Jad, just like killing noobs who can't kill me. <laughs> they smell like kebabs and shit. So what are the kebab celebrities? Yeah, why, why, why wouldn't you want to be the kebab seller? I don't want to give away kebabs, I want to have them. <laughs> I guess. We don't even know how he got hacked. He might have been an idiot and gave his password to some someone. Like, under yeah. the circumstances. Could have been yeah, his fault. I will make pizzas on your account, just give me your password. Okay. Um, so yeah. I don't have anything, just for when people watch this, I don't have anything against the pizza guy. I'm calling him guy, no, not man. Uh, <laughs> the, the problem that I have is Mod Matt K, with how he dealt with it. Sucks you got hacked. Yep. I don't think you should have got your shit back, though. Well, yeah, but I think... it's a nice thought, like, what he thought of it, like, you know, make pizza for people who ever want But that shouldn't make him better than any other player. Yeah, yeah, true, I guess, yeah. I mean, what... what... Honestly, the two-week thing, you can't really do shit in two weeks of being a free-to-play player. Yeah. But, yeah. It'd be good to, It'd be good for the game, but... Yeah. Anyone else got anything on that? Um, well, I guess free-to-play would raise the amount of players playing the game. Like, there would be more people playing. I guess it... Yeah. Um... I guess it would would be good for the community in some way. Wouldn't die out. The prices of trim brune items. Ooh, yes, I want that. Um, my favorite mini game is Nightmare Zone. Hey! Nah, I don't really have a favorite mini game. <laughs> I'm not really a mini game person. And um, we're not really gonna lower our requirements. People who are like chasing requirements are able to apply to have access to the clan chat. Uh, I guess you would call him like a future member. And I guess that pretty much sums it up. Um, if you have lower EHP and want access to the CC, just apply on the forums. Not going to lower the requirements. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to play it, <laughs> Why, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so don't believe we've talked about him yet. Someone uh, PM moved me to the top. <laughs> so someone someone PM'd me uh, in game saying that we haven't talked about this player yet. So, what are your guys' honest opinion on Link's Titan and how he grinds the way he does? For example, like playing 18 hours a day and doing guffins the other six, and his inevitable climb to rank one. What do you I think? Who moved me to the top of this question, man? I was like last. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Um, this is probably the saltiest podcast I'm going to be in for a long time. 
um, that salt all over that sound. Oh, dude. Um, most people know I'm not the biggest fan of Link's Titan, not only because he'll pass me. I'm not really too bothered if someone passes me eventually, but it's the way he's doing it. I mean, yeah, I respect him a fuck ton for being able to play 18 hours a day. Like, I've got just as much free time as him and I don't play 18 hours a day because I... I'm not willing to sacrifice some other things I imagine he does, so I respect him for that. But I think a guy who plays 18 hours a day has no reason to be AFKing Nightmares on while he sleeps. Like, I understand, you know, casual players doing it, as I said earlier. But, you know, when some guy who plays more than pretty much anyone who is playing starts doing, you know, stuff that is pretty much botting while he sleeps, please, I know it's not botting, same result as buying it's free experience. Not using a third-party software, as everyone says. All right, YouTube comments. Uh, <laughs> uh, um, and um, I, I don't like that. And I also don't like how much he uses alts. Yes, I know they're more effort. I used alts for maybe a week, a week or two. Or I made about 100 mil from that. So, yes, I'm a scumbag. But I stopped using them because I felt like a cheater simply using them. So I probably will never use alts again. I understand the urge to wanting to use them because um, I wanted to use them so he didn't pass me, but then I realized what's the point of, you know, just making the game less fun for myself and, you know, just just changing the game too much. I don't think you should have to use two accounts to be efficient on one. It makes no sense, really. It's like, yeah, I don't like that. Um, I think I've covered everything there, haven't I? Maybe. <laughs> Any more salt I need to spread What about, like, when he starts splashing after he finishes melee? And he's gonna get two, like, a hundred and... He's gonna get, like, 400 mil XP for free over the course of the next, like, five years or something. Which is, is quite a, a lot. Oh, also, I don't He'll like how he... Um, five years. I also don't like how he uh, transfers money from RS3. I have always not liked swapping. Like, the reason I started old school wait, is wait, wait, because... Wait, 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 need to have proof before you say this. There is no proof. There is no proof. There is no proof. He said he did. He said he did in one of his videos. He said he transferred all the money no. from old school yeah, to RS3. School, but Adam thinks he swapped it from RS3 to you. Okay, okay. Hypothetically, this that guy is, swapped I a lot of money that. from RS3 to old school. And the reason I started old school was because everyone had a fresh start. But a guy who's been playing for like six years can just transfer whatever he's got. Over to this game, it's not a fresh start, and it makes it unfair again. Which is a, another reason why I'm I don't like it. But <laughs> other than that, after all the salt, props to him for being a uh, sicker nerd than me, I guess. But I just don't find what he does. Um, I live on my own, but on on Christmas I'll go to I'll go visit my family and uh, basically eat some ginkgo and drink some gluggy. What the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> what? Uh, as for me, what? I didn't celebrate it, so just another day for me, basically. What the hell is that, Ask? Yeah. <laughs> I I won't explain. <laughs> Sounds like a drink that would have like a dead rat in it. Then. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> got to be something embarrassing. Okay, okay, okay. It's polar bear piss. <laughs> what? Are you trying to be Canadian over here? <laughs> no, 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 it's Finnish. Polar bear piss, are you serious? Yeah, we, we got am a lot of that up here if you need to. I don't fucking know what you Finnish fucks am do. I serious? He's joking. Shut up. I'm Randy, gullible. Oh my god. <laughs> Polar bear piss. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you don't know if I'm serious or not. <laughs> That's how cool we got rank one minute. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck energy drinks, man. I got polar bear piss. <laughs> <laughs> and ranger piss. Nice, man. Yep. Oh, yeah. There was this one time in my school there. Um, you have those... Uh, what, what, what's it called again? Those water sprayers for when there's... In case there's a fire. I don't know what they're called. Sprinklers? Yeah. 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 The one got broke or something i don't know what happened but we have like this big tree in our uh in in the hall of the school and it was just spraying directly at the tree like it was watering the tree <laughs> it was really weird this is a video on youtube but uh, that's um... yeah. yeah recently like i love them actually i had my first cape was quest cape and 
I think if they release a new continent and it doesn't have any lore, then it doesn't make any sense in my head. Cause... But there can still be lore if you talk to NPCs. You don't need them. Yeah, but quest. who's gonna talk? Who's gonna just randomly talk to NPCs? Well, the guys who are interested <laughs> in the lore. Yeah, true. But yeah, I guess bringing out new quests would uh, introduce everybody. To It'd make a lot more sense. Yeah. Yeah. True, but. Hey, look, guys! A massive continent just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> yeah, fair point. Exactly. Isn't that how the Earth was created? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. Hexus wannabe says, "So what happens after RuneScape? <sighs> RuneScape is eternal. Okay, RuneScape will never die. <laughs> Why? Because love. Because love is eternal." And RuneScape is love. <laughs> Alright, it's right there. Good answer. Bye. <laughs> but as a serious answer, like some of you said, uh, I have no idea what I would do if RuneScape like stopped existing. I'd probably just cry end it all. weeks straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or kill myself. When RuneScape ends, I end. <laughs> <laughs> Hence because death. What could you gather? Because you can pretty much gather anything that you could think yeah, of gathering. Yeah, yeah exactly, so. exactly. But divination, like, I, I don't know. Yeah. To make a gathering skill, you'd have to make another resource using skill. Yeah. yeah if, what if, what if other resource like... could you possibly gather? That's the question. <laughs> Water. <laughs> it makes Water. Sense, like, yeah. <laughs> Water boying. I think one thing they've are planning and probably will do is when the snake boss comes out, it'll drop a shit ton of resources, which will be very nice. Yeah, I was talking to John C about the drop table. Um, I sent him a list of things that I thought should be included on it, and he said most of those will probably be on it. It'll be a little bit similar to how the wyvern drop table is. Um, well, the closest is probably when I tried streaming to uh, getting my whip on my Iron Man and I lost my boost four times inside 100 kills <laughs> because I got distracted. <laughs> that was pretty bad. And then I just rage quit and went to do agility and got the whip uh, off stream. But uh, apart from that, I don't think there's anything. I've never done anything that's embarrassing in RuneScape. <laughs> apart from that one time I died to a camel. <laughs> 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 um, I lost to Bodhi at Rune Lake on his stream. And... That was so funny, dude. I was expecting to completely wreck him. The Rune Lake champion gets so beaten in like nervous. five seconds. And he was like calling me out. This guy's the champion, mate. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta beat him. <laughs> I just blundered so hard and like turned four. <laughs> oh, it was um, so embarrassing. What the fuck is uh, Rune Link? Connect four. four. Oh. Oh, in the games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Okay. That place. <laughs> that dreaded place. <laughs> <laughs> this is the perfect, uh, the perfect um, slide into into Zerob's story. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I fucking got lured from my bank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're <can't> laughing. <laughs> Well, Walk I us through it. Tell us about it. Oh, well, uh, this guy came up to me and he was like, oh, I got like 35 mil from this guy. Do you want me to teach you how to do it? And I was like, yeah, okay, I don't mind a, a free 30 mil. So he was like getting to know me better and he was also from from my country. And, uh... Oh, was he? He was, Bobby yeah. Said that. Yeah, but he also, he, he left like... 20 miles away and he could name the school and that I also knew and yeah it was just getting my like trust or anything something like that and basically it all came down to it it, it all became so tempting and I kind of trusted him but it was all a bit fake and then I went to uh Berthrop Berthrop and uh I'm gonna cry. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I literally was almost crying then, but um, 
I had to drop all my stuff, and he was the only one there. And then he would give me 20 mil, and I I was like, okay, well I'll, I'll drop them and pick them back up like directly. But some other guy came and he spawned like I don't know like 50 euros with AHK probably. Just spam click it, and then I couldn't grab my stuff, and the other guy just dropped a staff so he could pick all the rest the rest of the stuff up, and I lost like. I don't know, what was it? 150 mil? -ish? Yeah, roughly that. Yeah. Jesus. Well, that's what how happened. Was he, how was he able to pick it up and you weren't? Well, he dropped he had the staff, staff on the ground, then, which you can click on. Yeah. Oh, oh, because he already had right. Yeah. Yeah. Never he trust the easy money. I know, man. <laughs> it's it's kind of late for the... For, for teaching I know, the Captain <laughs> Hindsight. <laughs> Oops, a lot of time. So I think that's you pretty cool. your rod yet? What's that? You need an oily rod to do all the tasks. Uh, it, uh I don't know. <laughs> it's a pain in the ass. Weekend. I'll be honest, uh, I started playing in 2005 when I was 8, and a year later I got hacked in 2006, and then after that my dad uh, bought me membership, and he's been paying for it ever since then. <laughs> <laughs> You're a lucky fuck. <laughs> so... I'm turning 18 in a week, and then he, he said that once I turn 18, he's going to stop paying for it. But my <laughs> my membership price is still $5 a month because they don't up it for anyone who continues to be a member. So I'm assuming that I'll just still have to pay 5 a month, which isn't that bad, so I don't think I have to worry about it. Yeah, I don't... I don't... I don't really care. Alright, Jeet asks, did alts ruin old school uh, competitively? Yes. Want to elaborate on that? No. What skill has retained the highest level of achievement since Old School was released? And that was asked by Sathon. Um, definitely the combats. Um, <laughs> <laughs> people people talk shit, but it takes a lot of balls to to throw on Guthans and, and overnight that shit. I have a lot of respect for people who have. <laughs> have the balls to um to do that i wouldn't do it i'd be too scared of what people said about me <laughs> damn <laughs> i'm gonna go with mining uh oh, shit. but uh my mom really hated that i play runescape she still does and uh she used to give me shit for it a lot of times and i don't live with her anymore uh so <laughs> don't have to worry about that <laughs> Some my, fucker. I, my dad and uh, stepmom, they don't never really say anything about it. I think as long as I keep up with my responsibilities, they wouldn't really care. Uh, and you know, like I have like a 3.8 GPA right now. I have a car that Fuck. I bought myself. I have a job. So I don't think that it's really a problem at all. And if anyone gave me shit for it, I'd just be like, it's my free time. I can choose how to do what I want with it, and it's not affecting the rest of my life. So fuck yourself. <laughs> oh, shit, <Damn. laughs> that's getting aggressive. <laughs> I don't ever really, well, that's what I sometimes would want to say to my mom, but I never said it that way. <laughs> well, in case she ever watches this, she knows. That's <laughs> it. I doubt she ever will. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to somehow get in contact with her and link her to the podcast. <laughs> Fuck you, Etsk. Fuck you, Trickle. You guys. <laughs> Trickle's mo Trickle didn't come into the podcast because his mom forced him to come to dinner. What Dude. a bitch, man. All right, <clears throat> enough with it. And uh, shit, <laughs> I don't really see any negatives with it. I think it's gonna be. I hope that they don't even pull it and just put it in the game. It would get a lot more herbs. It's circulate. already passing, huh? Yeah, it's already being. It's eighty-five pulled. percent. Good. It got. You haven't been on in a while, have you? <laughs> Hold up, there's a fucking poll right now about it. It's eighty-five percent in passing. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> I didn't know there was a poll out. When did this shit get pulled? It was right Thursday. after, right after the last one closed. So, yeah. Uh, so I guess that well, yes. <laughs> well, shit. I suck. It was about how it's broken. I do not like six hundred gotten so. Yeah, I. I mean, I'm not sure. It might bring a sort of uh, light to the problem. Um. Uh. Well, I don't know, really. As John said, it only brought light to the problem for a day. 
yeah, anything, I it's guess. just rubbed salt in the wound. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I haven't watched the video, so I don't really know what everything you talked about, but, yeah. Could threaten to murder yeah. an infant if they don't remove it, and they still wouldn't don't. remove it. Don't do that. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> um, first of all, removing the wilderness ditch would increase nature rune crafting via the abyss by about 400 XP per hour. And, uh, really? Holy fuck. I'm a salty nerd, so I keep the ditch, bitch. Hashtag <laughs> keep the ditch, bitch. <laughs> yep. That's so agree, just because that hashtag That's... makes me laugh. Get it That's trending. all I gotta say. Get it trending, I think need... boys. We I'm gonna tweet it now. It. I'm gonna tweet it now. Hashtag... Fuck. Wait. Who doesn't these days? X is <laughs> just a meme, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking disconnection. Oh my god! I love how... I remember I went on holiday to Spain, and I don't know if you have that, but you like pay a euro, and you can have like five minutes on the computer. Yes. So I went, I went and killed some blue dragons, went to go get a drink, well, my mum had bought me a drink of coke from the bar, I went to go and get that when AFK died and ran out of money so I couldn't run back to get my stuff. <laughs> oh boy, I'd forgotten, we were there for a week, and I'd forgotten it. And I came home, I was like, oh, fuck. I, tell you. <laughs> the, the, I was so distraught. Like, I wouldn't speak to anyone for the rest of the night. I was just sitting in the corner being moody. How, my how old were you at that time? Oh, it was probably about 2007. Though, so, what would I be then? About 10, 9 or 10. <laughs> Dude, I was so distraught. It ruined the holiday for me. It's just <laughs> awful. No reward. What other achievement diary rewards do you think are a little bit too OP? I, I'm okay with uh, most of them, but that that one does sound really dumb. Uh, the red chin spot. It's not OP enough. As Trance said that it's not instanced. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I mean, it's said it's supposed to be a private area. It's not fucking private if other people can poke their heads in there and dick around. What, that, that doesn't sound private to me. It, I think it's kind of dumb. I don't like that. How can they dick around if they only have their heads in? Alright, maybe, maybe they go in there and start... Uh, fuck you. <laughs> um... Oh, God. I'm... <laughs> Okay, um, nobody in my real life, uh, knows I play RS. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, my fucking brother doesn't even know I play RS. I don't think he cares, actually, but I, I'm pretty fucking secretive about it. Like, the extent to which I will go to hide this secret is ridiculous. <laughs> um, let's say, um, okay, so I actually, like, play in school a lot. Like, a lot of the time in school, I'm usually, like, AFKing something, um, because it's better than no XP. And a lot of the times, like, I almost get caught. Like, I almost get caught, like, every single day. But I never got caught so far. But um, usually people, like, come up to me, like, and, and go look at my screen. I just, like, completely um, just hide my screen. I do whatever I can to hide my screen. Make sure they don't see what I'm doing. <laughs> there was one time, um, not, this happened, like, twice, actually. Like, this exact scenario happened twice. Where I would be in, like, a group setting, working on a project. I'd, I'd fucking... I'd be daring enough to go click on that fucking U tree and continue talking IRL, and then they would s look at my screen and be like, "What are you doing?" And I would shut it off completely, and they would be convinced I'm watching porn. Just <laughs> you'd rather uh, than think you're watching porn in class. I I, I, I don't know what. Like they, they were like, "Come on, just show me. Don't be a bitch about it." I'm like, "No, I'm not showing you." And I would just like comp turn it off, like uh, computer completely, <laughs> just not. Let them know. Why are so, you so yeah. secretive about it? I don't know. But people think I'm a fucking weirdo now. Uh, one thing that Maz was talking about on the last podcast, like he, uh, he said that uh, he plays League and WoW, but yeah. uh, he's he's not. Uh, he said he wasn't embarrassed to talk about. It. I don't know. Can you elaborate on that? Now? I, I, okay, I'm not embarrassed to talk about League because there's even like a fucking League club in my school. Like ha a lot of people I know play League. It, like I, I just I could be in class and I just hear people randomly talking about league. I'm like, okay, I guess it's not that bad of a game. Um, so I can be pretty open about it. And if people ask me if I play league, I, I generally say yes. Um, if they ask me what video games I play, I'll still say I don't play any. Video, I, I'm not gonna tell you what video games I play. 
Um, WoW, I don't really tell people, but I guess if somebody would ask me if I played WoW, I would have told them. But nobody's asked me. If someone asked if you played RuneScape, would you say no? <laughs> For, uh, it's such a... I don't know, it's such a specific game. That if somebody asked me if I play RuneScape, they have to play RuneScape themselves. So I might say something. I might, but that will never... Like, when you, would you walk up to somebody and say, do you play RuneScape? Like, that just never happens. Uh, I'm not embarrassed. I mean, I don't walk around the RuneScape shirt or anything, but if someone asked me if we're talking about video games, I'd probably mention it. Um, pretty much all my friends in real life, they know I play RuneScape. They know I invest a lot of time into the game. They know I'm a high rank and all that. So, yeah. So, you're not embarrassed? Nope. Why are you only doing fast skills? Um, really only doing fast skills because they have the least amount of potential to be devalued. They are, um, like, I don't want to do, like, agility and have it go up to being, like, 80k an hour. I don't want to do room crafting and have ZMI come out. I don't really want to do skills like that that can be devalued. So, I mean, uh faster XP skills I do, they have the least amount of potential to be affected or de devalued, so. ADK agility XP an hour, GE agility course confirmed. So if it were the other way around where slow skills never got faster and fast skills kept getting faster, you'd do slow skills first? Yeah. I, I don't want to do anything that's going to be, like, I'd be uh, with Slayer, I don't want to do Slayer, it's going to keep getting updated. It, I just don't want to do shit that my that can potentially be devalued to a huge extreme. It's a good question, but yeah, I, if if they started making crafting like 500k an hour, I wouldn't do crafting. If they made fire making like 700k, I wouldn't do that. But I don't want to do shit that has a big potential of getting devalued. Um. But I had a little add-on question to this as well for everyone else. Do you think that Jagex will implement discipline reaction to this, like banning accounts or like uh, backrolling stats or anything like that? There is uh, no way. There is no way that they will ban a single player for this. And anyone who thinks that someone should be banned or is campaigning for someone should to be banned fool. is out of their goddamn mind. <laughs> yeah. Um I I don't I don't think they're gonna nerf it. I guess I've just come to expect nothing out of the team, so I I really don't expect them to do anything. I I hate the method. Not that I'm 200 mil, but it's just, it's just in my opinion, I believe it's a bug because it's an unintentional huge XP per hour boost, and it's stupid. It I. Means I I didn't think they would nerf it, uh, but John, after what John C said on Twitter, that he'd actually look into it. Whereas before, somebody mentioned it to him. It was just like one person mentioned it to him, and he said, "I'll I'll fix it if, or I'll look into it if people ask me to." And now that people, now that hundreds of people are all, all over Reddit, he said he'll actually look into it now. I don't know if it depends. It depends what. Uh, I have no idea if they'll get nerfed or not. Depends on. Uh... John C actually will do some work. I really hope like, he. I really hope he does. It, it's just a stupid method. You just sit there and fucking spam click. It's. I just don't like the idea of that being by far the best thieving method in the game. True. It's a bit silly. Yeah, when people did that in 2011, 12. Um, they just tried to gain your trust. I get, I got a lot of uh, mills of those people like saying doubling money, but <laughs> like you, you give them. I'm, I'm not surprised that you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I got a lot of money off of them. But I mean, this sounds bad coming from you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I gave them 200 to 500k, and I always got got my double bump money back. I just said ty and then walked away. <laughs> I didn't get scammed that way, man. Carry on. <laughs> France? What? Anything to say? 
<laughs> Did your voice just crack? <laughs> such a home attempt to take attention off you. <laughs> Someone yeah, no, is standing no, up for what truly I, I'm, matters. I'm so, I'm so used to dropping shit. Like, I, I would not like... Um, no way! Who was that? <laughs> Matt? <laughs> no, that was you, Tricky. <laughs> but um, no, I'm I'm I'm, I'm so used to dropping potions, especially. Okay, I'm 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 trying to talk to you, Matt. <laughs> no, but um. But, Fuck um... you guys, I'm not even gonna talk anymore. <laughs> Case is shit, yeah. man. <laughs> did you shit your pants? <laughs> no, but it did feel a bit warm on the way out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> right, where were we? Shattered glass. Um... My account. Like, that's the only way I could ever lose my account if somebody went on it and like fucking bought it on it or something. Yeah. Like if it got hacked. Yeah, losing your bank is way worse than losing your account, in my opinion. I what? What? Uh, I mean, what? The, the other way around. I mean, losing your account. <laughs> that's is like way saying being poor is worse sorry, than sorry, fucking sorry. dying. Sorry. Sorry. The other way around. <laughs> sorry. Losing your account is way worse than losing your bank. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Still chat just I'm so it. fucking confused. <laughs> yeah. It's a very cheap drug. Uh, the thing I regret buying the most was the ticket to Finland to meet up with ads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it comes out. Oh my Shit. god, it's fucking ruthless. <laughs> Shit. Well, it is, it is it is the truth. I that's I haven't like that's the most Disappointed I've ever been in my life, I think, in someone. So yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> well Guts, that's come at me, bro. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's calling him out. Fucking hell. Shit, I forgot what I was thinking about after hearing that. I don't even remember what was on my mind. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> it was such a 10 out of 10 answer. <laughs> Alright, moving on. <laughs> Alright, All right. So, someone asked, what do you like to have on your sandwich? <laughs> I barrel, know. Hey. <laughs> Bit of bacon, cheese, tomato. Never goes, never goes astray. That's a pretty nice sandwich. Um, do you guys? Is this like referring to like Subway or anything? It could be anything. anything. Take it out if it's you Subway, want. I, <laughs> Subway, I always get like a chicken teriyaki. That's always nice. Always a good favorite for me to. <laughs> uh. Uh, meat, meatball bomber with uh, like lots of parmesan and mozzarella cheese. That would be like on a sub. Uh, for like a regular sandwich, I like, I, and I usually, whenever I go to the store, I buy like a lot of supplies. And sandwich that I make very often, it's got like this turkey, it's got some ham, uh, roast beef. The, the turkey has like bits of cheese in it so it's like cheesy turkey America. Uh, <laughs> exactly. loaded up with a lot of cheese swiss cheddar american and then toasting it as well it's fantastic Ooh. i don't like any other shit really mm. <laughs> i don't think mind. you can go wrong with lettuce tomato and cheese it, so now i'm thinking about it <laughs> You know, uh, just lettuce, tomato, and cheese is pretty much like my go-to for most sandwiches. Uh, I think they're. I awesome hate le I hate lettuce, tomatoes. Fuck you. I hate all. Mer I hate like that little shit. Like if I if I were to go to like McDonald's and get like a a burger, I would just get a plain one with just the cheese and the meat. Why lettuce is so cool? I don't know. I, nice, I, just, nice I don't really pot. like condiments at all. 
Really? Yeah. Shit. Don't know. I just always hated him. Uh, not so long ago, I um, I made a sandwich. I remember I sent it to you, Chris. Uh, oh yeah. The um, it was. I think it was grilled bacon, uh, mm. smoked chicken. Uh, there was a little bit of tomato, and it was. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he had avocados. Uh, but uh, I've got a top five, and for me, it's uh, Juicy J, Juicy J, Juicy J, Juicy J, Juicy J. He is the greatest artist of all time. You're such a fucking loser. <laughs> all right, it's, uh, there was a Reddit post about someone who was muted for player harassment because he was hopping worlds killing paladins. I know that Ginge did this. Thankfully he wasn't muted, but do you think it was a justifiable offense? Or is Jagex just being dumb? Um, I think it was justified because of bug abuse at the end of the day. It's, un it's unintentional for the XP increase that people got, so... No, he's talking about the, 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 the person. The per them. Yeah, yeah. The person was trying to prevent it from happening, <laughs> and they were punished for trying like, to prevent. Like pickpocketing. Um, no, no. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is live streams. Uh, <laughs> mess ups can happen. Just uh, re not reading the question. So yeah, we just uh, said that didn't happen. Uh, I, I saw it all the fucking time. I really don't do anything. I, actually, there is a one thing I do. It's kind of a weird thing because I have to explain to, to people who see me IRL with it. But um, I wear a glove on the hand. I use it for my mouse. What? And <laughs> what? <laughs> and Are you serious? I have a good explanation. Hold on. Jesus. It's, it's All right. Because let's see. Because my okay, the, <laughs> the way my table is right. My wrist touches like the edges of the table, and if I hold my like if I play RS for a long time and I have to hold my mouse for a very long amount of time, I, like my hand, my like my wrist starts hurting because it's been resting on that corner of that table for so long. So I just wear a glove, and it's, <laughs> that pain goes away. Do you wear a winter glove? <laughs> what kind of glove do you play with? Just, I don't know. What, what's a winter glove? The the fluffy kind. Jeez. Wow. I. <laughs> that's. That's. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Alright. <laughs> Trance. Killing boss. I am the skilling boss, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Trickle doesn't do anything good. Oh. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> this is why I don't uh, no. make videos. I just get bleed. And Ranny, please make a uh, a grind, gr grind grinds my gears like videos. Yeah. I'm still collect. I'm still collecting data before I put out. Okay. <laughs> collecting data. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Lelador, Lelador's rambling videos are pretty good. Yeah, they're great as well. Oh yeah. I I really enjoyed um, Jeremy's video videos a hell of a lot at the start of 07. Just seeing the lead he had on everyone was ridiculous for anyone who did try to compete with him. Yeah. He's got a two hour long video of him fish one drop one the barb fish, rambling for the full two hours. It's a good video. Everyone should watch it. And pick up the whole video, but yeah. Huh? Six ticking in that video. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping too fast. Yeah. Catches the fish. Uh, it's a, it was a good video, and it's something that made me adapt the sort of closed-minded, arrogant, ignorant, jebrin mindset that I hold very dearly to this day. <laughs> I wouldn't change it. Ever. Yeah. Um, my thoughts about Zia is, please no, I don't want it in the game. Let's just keep it the way it is. It's, it's, um, I mean... Oh, shit! It ruins the old school feel. I forgot about that. Yeah. Um, yeah. The preserver. Did someone no. PM you that and tell you to say that? <laughs> no, it was a shocking revelation. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, for me, um, my thoughts is... My thoughts are... My thoughts is... Good English.
Has it, ha mm. has it passed the poll? Have they polled it? I yeah, don't know. Yeah, it passed with 92%. Yep. Okay. Oh, God, you little um, scum. Yeah. I can't lie, man. I, I can't wait to find some bugs. I mean, no, not bugs, not bugs, not bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I just said I can't, I can't wait, wait to find to some banned. features. I can't wait to find some features, guys. There's gonna be a lot, of, gonna be a lot of features. There's gonna be a lot of features. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I've been playing this game for so long that it's like, I guess the game itself is just a habit. Like, it's always a part of my day. It's always a part of, like, my week or whatever. Just, like, <laughs> about whatever I'm going to do in game and stuff like that. So, uh... I don't know. I guess so. I'd probably sleep less than I would if I didn't play, but I'd probably still just be sitting at my computer doing something else if I didn't play RuneScape. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, a background I, I activity just, for me. I just uh, remembered one thing. Uh, every time I travel, I think about, like, um, how many hours it is till my goal or something, and just, yeah, fuck bitches, get money. But, uh, I, don't uh, know. I, I don't know if this is a habit. I mean, I definitely do less things in real life. Like, I honestly, some people eat out because they're lazy. I don't eat out. I don't eat out because I'm even more lazy. Like I don't want to. I don't want to go to the store or go to, to McDonald's. I'll just like, like eat crackers or something. You're all so so you living your life. I don't know. If that's a bad habit. Granola bars. I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's better than eating McDonald's, I guess. Yeah, I only go out to eat if I'm going with my girlfriend. Other than that, just like grab food at my house. But uh, like I, um. Try to save time in real life. Like even if I'm not thinking about RuneScape, I'll just try to like, like try to like mow the grass faster. Like try to figure out, <laughs> um, like try to like map out the the most efficient route to mow the grass. I was thinking about last yeah. week. Yeah, I do that too. If like anything I do, I try to or, like, do it as the, the most efficient route to get to Walmart and back. <laughs> something like something <laughs> yeah, like exactly. that. Like I'll time myself when I go to Walmart, because like I usually go to Walmart at, like four in the morning when no one's there. <laughs> that that is that is very efficient. No lines. You're that guy. <laughs> but yeah, also for like um, when I'm walking to from from point A to B in real life, I just uh, think of like crossing the street. What would be more efficient? Where do I have to wait for for traffic lights and shit like that? Just try, try, try to avoid to as much walk. as I can. What? Try not to backwalk. Try not to backwalk. Back <laughs> <laughs> back well, then well, they fix that. So. <laughs> Sometimes RuneScape logic will make its way into my real life logic when I'm doing something like backwalking. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> like, yeah, remember, remember when you were little and you were mining bronze and tin, <laughs> just to get them bronze bars. Uh, bronze and tin. What am I saying? Copper and tin. Nope. Nope. All right. So there is a um, RuneCrafting method a few people have been doing. Um, it's, oh God! It's using lumberyard teleport and making lavas on the earth altar. It's about ten to fifteen percent more XP per hour than lavas on the fire altar. It's significantly more expensive, but what do you guys think about it? Is it over seventy k an hour then? Yeah. Seventy-five yeah. is it? Seventy Jesus to seventy-five. Christ. Wait, it's more than lavas. Yeah, well, it, it is, is lavas. Oh, it's... Are more than lavas. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's lavas. You... But um, it's fa so it's faster than lavas, but it's also way more expensive. Um, two words: mini fridge. Yeah, it does help out a lot. <laughs> Agreed. Isn't that one word though? It might be, it might be hyphenated. hyphenated. It might be yeah, hyphenated. I think it's hyphenated. Not. <laughs> on the. Webster, uh, official Webster, you know, <laughs> spelling. I thought when you said two words, it was going to be piss and bottle. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good, too. <laughs> piss bottle. It's... Uh, one thing I got, um, I was couldn't think of anything at first, but I think one thing for you guys who are in school, take as long as you need to do those homework assignments. Like, I do... 95% of my homework while playing RuneScape, it takes a lot long. It'll take you a lot longer to finish your assignment, your paper, whatever you're doing, your reading. But just don't stop getting XP. Never stop. It's pretty relaxing. Just get to sit back, AFK the hell out of it.
Dude. Um, I'm not looking at the questions. Agility. It's good. Um, for me, <laughs> well, I guess runecrafting, kind of. Fuck us, buddy. <laughs> man, once you try, you'll never go back, man. Trust yeah. me. Fuck you all for using it. Unfair advantage, oh my god. You're all losers. <laughs> I don't consider your achievements legit. Like, I didn't know, already know where to click on the RD Agility course without a big green brick in front of me. <laughs> He didn't already know that your glory has X amount of charges, or that your stamina potion is going to run out in two minutes. <laughs> and my cannon will decay in twenty minutes. What is that shit, then? Oh fuck that client. Oh, I reckon they're great. But back to the actual question, though. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, John C can do whatever the hell he wants with his body. I don't really care. Um, Axel X had a pretty good question here. Kind of funny. He said, "What will happen first, if ever?" Ditch trains Hunter, or Sick Nerd fully returns to his main? Sick Nerd returns. The universe will end. What was that, Trip? The universe will end. Time will cease to exist. The moment he touches Hunter, he can't go around dancing around. Everyone who thinks that Ging hates it when people ask him when he's going to train his Hunter, it's like a shot of adrenaline to him. <laughs> he loves the attention. He, he likes being a, smash, a special little snowflake, and the day he actually gets that is just no. There was a time in um, New Year's where he had been out and had a couple of drinks, and we wanted to get him in team so we can try and talk him into training as Hunter, but he wouldn't have it. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more likely that Sick never would come back because I don't think he ever said that he's never going to come back to his main. He just, yeah. I feel like he'll probably burn out of Iron Man eventually, come back to his main for a while or something. I don't know. I think there's a great chance that they both end up doing it at some point. Although I would say, I think if Ginge ever trains agility, it'll be because he gets hacked and by someone who's pissed off that he doesn't train Hunter and they'll get his Hunter to like <laughs> level 17. And then he'll just be like, well, fuck, I guess I gotta train it now. And I, I think Adam will come back at some point to his main. Right, RS3 hasn't been DCing really. It's mainly old school, but I remember um, the ones eight months ago. And, well, what I was what I was doing during those DCs was trying to log in, you know, get frustrated, release frustration, <laughs> and, yeah, and sleep a lot more. Um, I can't really remember, like, how the destinations were eight months ago compared to these ones, but, I mean, yeah, these ones are pretty bad, and I just try to log in, yeah, I get, sometimes I got pretty upset, because I had, like, literally nothing to do other than try to log in. The only time you would really ever be for... Legit people in Nightmare Zone, the only time that you would ever be AFK for more than five minutes would be if you go and take a shit and you just can't get it all out and you're sitting on a toilet for like ten minutes. That'd be the really only time that I could see someone not yet. Hopefully they take some proper steps into solving it. But all right, let's let's break down the Slayer dev blog. It was a... I've n I've never done that before. Definitely never done that before. But yeah, pretty tragic. Have a moment of silence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, please. With marks of grace. Uh, so we all know Trance is the king of Twitter. It's got some good Twitter burns, good jokes. What are your guys' thoughts on Prince's joke <laughs> that he tweeted out to Bodhi, receiving very little attention right. or feedback? The, can you link the tweet? It's I don't I can't link it, but it, well I can try to find it real quick. It said, "If gingers don't have souls, why are they afraid of dementors?" <laughs> I thought it was a pretty reasonable question. I don't get it. 
For me, I don't know. <coughs> I kind of have a fear of uh, everyone in the world turning against me or something. Call me a schizo freak or what? But that's <laughs> something that has always been uh, presented in my life. <laughs> said it was. But yeah, fears are fears are fears, um, and they have to be faced. Uh, and I face them every day uh, when I w- walk socially awkwardly in the in the in their streets and with my eyes straight to the uh, asphalt and thinking about my own shit. But that's life for you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm saying this right now. I'll say one of my greatest fears now is kind of uh, your guys are a little bit different than mine. I'm really scared of snakes. I don't know. Honestly, like. The, like, the day I win 5 million, I probably wouldn't even do anything different. Like, I would just be like, okay, cool, I can keep playing RuneScape. <laughs> rest of my life. I mean, I would, like, I just, in, I'd invest, like, 95% of it and put, like, um, you know, put, like, 200k in the bank. Yeah, like, I think, Randy, the idea of being a bum for the rest of your life sounds pretty good. Thank you, thank you. I, I I would buy I would buy season I would buy season house. tickets for life to Viking games. I'd I'd buy like an eighty thousand dollar condo or some shit. Like I eighty thousand. You ain't really getting sh- a shit for eighty thousand. I don't. All I need is like two rooms, dude. Man, you you need to learn to live large, luxurious. You're a millionaire. You don't need to. Use something the size of like a mobile home. You won't be a millionaire for long if that's your attitude. Yeah, you won't. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's gonna buy buy money. He's gonna be paying his bills and fucking run out. Did you, hey, love... did you ever watch that documentary I told you to watch about uh, all, all star <laughs> athletes going? Broke yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had. Did you watch it? Yeah, they have really good examples on there. I'm, like... Did you learn nothing? <laughs> There are a lot of idiots. You... Well, I mean, I'm not gonna throw like a fifty thousand dollar birthday party and spend ten thousand dollars on a cake. I'm not gonna. It kind of sounded what you were gonna do, though. I, I would buy a nice house, a nice car, and you know, I, I don't know. I, I would have, I would enjoy myself. That's for sure. Would you give any of the money to like family or close friends and stuff? Uh, I would say maybe like a handful of friends who I've had for. I buy him a meal. <laughs> I'd, I'd say like a ha- handful yeah, of my friends who I've had for like the <laughs> yeah. last ten years. I'd like pay off their college, or um, like my family. I'd like pay off their house, let them get a better house, something like that. I mean, five million isn't enough to where you can really just. Go <laughs> reckless and give everyone everything. Yeah. Like just enough to live a decent life. A really good life. Alright, maybe I'd buy my mom a house. There right. you go. <laughs> maybe. You better you there. better give your mom the that? world. Oh. Alright, so if you guys play any high level sport you uh, talk about it and elaborate a bit about you know what you play, what you do, and why you do it? All right. How far in advance do you guys plan when going for like a day, a week, or a month record? And what have you done to prepare for those records? Uh, for a day, you don't need any much preparation. Yeah, for a day, you don't need any preparation besides like putting some food in your computer and shit, I guess. And make sure you don't eat that much, actually, because you'll take a shit. I remember that. I remember that pic you sent me uh, back in January when we had that comp. Mini Yo, fridge, dude. Talk about that you gotta for get a, a bit. Mini fridge if you want to do a really good week record. Um, I got anything... to do the big Walmart trip too before. I made the mistake of not. I can't get enough shit in my cart to do a whole month, so I had to go to Walmart <laughs> in the middle of the month. Like. Lost like 40 minutes or something. But, uh, Is there anything specifically you do during a 30 hour to keep up? What? 
like anything like certain foods you'd eat, drinks you'd drink and what have you. I mean, if you if you drink too much, you'll just piss. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't... Like, I think King Bino didn't. He didn't like use the bathroom once during his agility. <laughs> no, he didn't. didn't. He <laughs> did it right before he started and right when he ended. He yeah. never pissed. <laughs> no. <laughs> he went 30 <laughs> hours without taking a piss. He probably yeah, didn't see, drink he didn't anything. Drink shit then. Yeah, he didn't yeah, drink just... anything, and the only he just ate bread and fruit for the entirety of his day. <laughs> yeah, hour. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking. That's the micro efficiency mindset you gotta have to do like but best he, of the best thirty hour. He probably didn't drink anything like a day before the record either. Went into a sauna as well. That, so you gotta do that <laughs> if you wanna beat King Vino's thirty hour Jody. That's what. That's that's the shit you gotta do. Man. Um. I've never really done anything. I guess actually when I did my Slayer Day record, I stocked up on a few sandwiches before. I almost fell asleep on this black demon task. Like, Dobbs would look over and I had like my head like tilted back on my chair. And was that the 30 hour? Yeah, that was my first 30 hour. It was uh, Slayer. That, that, yeah. Um, I didn't do anything really to prepare for the thieving day. I kind of over prepared by eating an entire pizza right as I started, and I sh uh. and I had to shit it out over the course of the thirty hours. Uh, for the for the week when I did, uh, I played like a hundred and twenty hours that uh, back in January when we had um, that one really successful competition that we had. I went to the store and bought a whole bunch of uh, kind of light food, crackers, and things like that for the week. Have never done a month, so I wouldn't know. Like Tran said, uh, I don't think you need too much preparation for uh, 30 hour. Just get some ease to eat food and stuff like that. But for the week record I did on Agility, I. I bought so much food, like I didn't even eat 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 all of it because I lost my appetite on like third day or something. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just drank a lot and uh, yeah, and it drinks <laughs> keeps you going. I didn't, I didn't eat much during my week either. I lost weight during my week. Yeah, it does. I don't know what it was. I just didn't have an appetite. Yeah, it, it, well, it happens to me. Even uh, after 30 hours, the next day I don't eat much. It's probably the sleep deprivation that affects your appetite. I don't know. But yeah, the, f the first three days I ate like normally, but after that I only like l ate like maybe a sandwich or two a day. The, I never like, had like an actual meal during the week. Yeah, I only ate like sandwiches and stuff like that. And microwave stuff. And because I was doing agility, I just... <clears throat> And I don't have a mini fridge, so I would uh, always run to the kitchen when my uh, uh, character was doing the last like yeah. obstacle yeah. <laughs> <laughs> already, and try to run back before uh, before uh, it was finished. <laughs> that would be fun to watch anyone try to do that. <laughs> and uh, I've never done a month's record, uh, so never had to prepare prepare for one. Uh, any of my Records on CML really aren't impressive at all. Uh, not only in comparison to the previous records mentioned, but just generally not impressive. Uh, I just say don't overthink it. Really, the 100 hour week I did was with that was with school about 20 odd hours of classes I mentioned. Uh, just sort of did it. It didn't require any like really far forward preparation or anything. It was just sort of log into RuneScape when you can. Don't sleep as much, etc., etc. Some good insight there. No, people might struggle. Um, during the week that I just did, I spent a lot of time. Well, not not really a lot, but I spent. Shit. I spent some time doing uh, stuff in real life, like do one or two hours a day. Doing what? Stuff. Dude, wait, well, yeah, what's the... <laughs> <elaborate>. <laughs> no, but, I don't know, making food, eating food, mowing the lawn uh -huh. and stuff. Yeah, mowing the lawn, <laughs> that's you do. Yeah, <laughs> you know what lawn he's mowing.
Jonathan said something like cockroach, cock, cock. Uh, I said cock. cock. Five, I said cock five times. <laughs> damn, cockatrice would be like removed from Duradell. So I'm, you're subconscious speaking, dude. Fight it. Shit, but I I have to agree with Razor. It's it, it was the most stupid like excuse <laughs> to pull something like that. that was if you get scammed, it's your own fault and. Like, who even buys you logs? <laughs> I mean... And, uh, personally I've cut tons and tons of maples, uh, probably like 100k or something, and every time I start BFKing them, I, I just <laughs> look at them and be like, oh fuck, why do you look so bad? And uh, I'm glad they they are reverting the... <laughs> Makes sense. Because, uh, I think it was, as you said, about three weeks ago, when they were introducing Mod Day, I think. It... Trans? Randy? I switch my. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Don't be. Um, uh, not really, because um, there are hardly any GP, effective GP sinks in the game right now. Uh, Zami Hosta has probably brought out like a billion GP by now. That's the... nothing. <laughs> that is nothing. <laughs> um, when Renz got banned, I was blocked. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. for fly making, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much the one I would call my favorite. Squeaky door. Yeah, that was me, my bad. Oh, um, I, I really do just like three... T the concept of three tick fishing. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a highlight reel. There used to be a highlight reel. Like I don't know. Be best, <laughs> best, so best of the Hexus podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gave my mom five bucks and month membership. Wow. Are we talking about like membership or Hexus membership? Uh. I'll go with just RuneScape membership. Yeah. All right. Um. I was nine years old when I first became a member, and I'd been playing for about a year, and I got hacked, and I lost like all of my <laughs> free-to-play bank, which was worth like I don't know somewhere between like 500k and a mil probably, and I was super depressed because I was nine years old, and then my dad decided to be membership because he saw that I was sad, <laughs> so then I was very happy again. <laughs> I would uh I would like to see like some sort of like skill requirement like for skills and stuff like that for the max cape like only 99% of the people aren't going to be able to get max cape and it only takes like maybe a day to make an account to vote no on the max cape because you're never going to get it so like it should be like something where like it should be based on like what skills you have or if you are like in an opportune area to be able to do it like like within like the near future if that's making any sense. I know I'm, I'm bad with words and stuff like that, putting this together. I don't know if anybody can help me uh, figure what I'm trying to say out. Kind of like... Okay, I think Ace made a good point about Randy's butthole. I mean, even at Kraken, the Uniques aren't that great. At Smoke Boss, they're pretty good. But, yeah, I think that they're going to go away from the crazy silver openness. <laughs> yeah, the, the Smoke Boss and the Kraken has, have good uh, drop tables. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyways, <laughs> from, a, from a logical point of view, it should be better. Um, yeah, I would, I was about to say, like, yeah, it probably should be three ticks since that's doable, but the whole Aussie ping thing is a fair point. Um, I've never been to Australia, so I don't know what it's like there, but it sounds like it's pretty fucking bad, so... I feel like, for me, I've quit three times and come back all three times, but I lo I quit three times due to getting cleaned at the arena back in. <laughs> the Trance, does that surprise ages. you at all? No. So, I have yet to be cleaned on 07, and I've been playing since the start, so that's the good news. But I have been to the arena multiple times and almost been cleaned. Trance can confirm that. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat as circle right now. My summer breaks. Coming to end within like two weeks, um, but I take online classes, so I might be able to squeeze some RuneScape in while I do some of that shit. 
I would say when I look back at like my ranks in RS3, because like the rank of what you are in 200 mil kind of judges like when you got it. Um, I guess I'm more proud like of 200 mil Slayer because I know most of it was pre EOC for me, as opposed to now it's like 220k experience an hour. So I feel an accomplishment that I did most of my Slayer before it became that fast. But having 200 mil Slayer doesn't make me feel accomplished at all now because of how easy it is. So that's kind of how it works for me with like those type of goals. Give a random shout out, or give a shout out to a random Hexus member. I'm giving mine to 420. Um, uh, Ace. Uh, Kush Ladora. Uh, hi, Randy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't. Alcan, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Everyone in Hex is hash one. Um, Clayton. Alright. So, only because I thought this was kind of funny, it was, uh, someone's doing a poll. They just want to know what your favorite color is. <laughs> Mine's purple. What do you guys feel of, like, a bonfire-esque thing for a <gasps> What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> <laughs> Someone really wants a fucking bonfire. <laughs> was that Alkin? Alright. Here was my favorite question that was asked. I was uh, streaming a few days ago and someone told me to kind of elaborate on the story of Hexus, of like how it began and like the early history of it. Get around, kids. <laughs> Get around. Let me oh, tell you guys. About... <laughs> <laughs> then I shall begin. So, um, from what I, from what E Fire, the the previous leader, the only other leader of Hexus, his name was E Fire, and he claims that Hexus was created before old school, um, like a couple weeks before, during the time of like when the hype of old school coming out was coming he said that he created it then with a group of friends and so I guess you could say it was, it was made before old school but um, when Hexus first came out it was kind of just like a newbie clan like we would let people in who had like any 99 at some point like I was a member um, with just 99 Hunter I remember that and we kept increasing our wrecks over time, over time, over time, and um, we changed it. Um, it was like first, it was like if you had a 99, you could get in. Then it was like I think if you had two 99s, you could get in. And then it was changed to time to max rank. And after we started seeing a whole bunch of um, people who were like single skill players hanging out in the CC who technically didn't have the wrecks because they were shit just doing agility or cooking fishing or mining things like that um we voted to change it to just ehp which is how we still use it today but in around october 2013 efire um started rune crafting and he asked me for the rune crafting ahk that i use and i gave it to him and he started using it and about a week late now I had already 91 room crafting at this time and obviously I had used it for 150 hours or so no and worth noting this was before West started so they had an automated system back then which I will accept it was flawed but after about a week of room crafting eFire got banned uh, temporarily for botting and he said, hey, it's false, this shit is fucked up, and we know that the system wasn't perfect then because, like, Ginge was even banned um, one time before, and his was just a manual ban, the reasoning was a period. Um, but, okay, so, so like, in October, um, Efire got banned, I think it was for two weeks, and... Around mid to late December. Now, he was a great leader. He was really good. But 
he never used team speak or anything like that so that really wasn't good but i was always in team speak and i oh i was um in like july ish june or july i became a gen but all right all right so let's move out in like december ish um when i was more active on team speak there were a lot of players who did not like that he was leading and um i dobbs wanted me to uh co-lead soulless with him this is way like we're talking 2013 dobbs is thinking about making soulless and he wanted me to uh lead it with him but kept staying in hexus and then in january E Fire got banned again for botting, and <clears throat> he uh, this time he was permanently banned. His account was gone. Uh, John Ma John C was a Hexus member at that time, and he was still actively playing old school. And he Jonathan was able to get E Fire's account looked into because obviously E Fire is claiming you know a it's a it's a false ban. Let's get this shit settled. And then Jonathan said, no, nah, you botted your band. It was looked at. And, like, there was already a lot of people who were not liking that he was leading at that point. And, like, that shit was kind of like the last straw. And then a couple weeks later, he resigned. And um, I've been leading since. So, I... <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that I guess that cover, I guess that covers the uh, in, the, the age of infancy in Hexus. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I've been leading for like more than a year and a half now, and it's been great. But well, those are the those are the early times. I don't know. That was probably the longest that I've talked. Uh, at a point without uh... a <laughs> story change <in> my life. <laughs> uh, if anyone ever has any questions about um, Hexus history, just feel free to um, ask me. And I mean, sh my shit is like a library up here, so just feel free. <laughs> Should highlight that part. That's pretty much you should. <laughs> it's uh. But, you know, we've really, really come a long way from being a group of people who wanted to play efficiently on old school to where we are today. But all right, moving on. Um, I, I, I can see myself getting um, 200 mils in woodcutting and fishing and may, maybe even agility, but uh, I won't really be competing for rank. I'll just be competing for... Just playing it just because those XP rates are fucking stupid. Right. Okay. Moving on, someone said, did I use any kind of macros, keyboarding, or any kind of shit to do darts? If not, I, I don't fucking know. Macro? I say, fuck you, you say potato. If not, how was I able to maintain... Or many ways of being efficient without doing all those kinds of things. We interrupt this live broadcast to inform you that the Hex podcast is brought to you in part by OS Buddy, the toolkit for old school RuneScape. Visit www.rsbuddy.com backslash OS Buddy. Remember, there's no better buddy than OS Buddy. I, um, I would be in favor of him making it zero. Well, this is going to sound like really probably stupid to most of you, but like setting up a governance um, Emerson game doesn't take zero time, it takes a few minutes and over the course of like doing it all the way to 200 mil for all melees, probably gonna be a few hours, so I mean Yeah, but two hours versus six <laughs> hours is not a long time. Yeah, but I mean, something I think one of my best moments um, was like I know, like when I felt the happiest was probably around um, 2007 when I started playing for the first time. And I think 
I, I was just walking around Lumber's Castle. I'm not sure what I was even doing there, but um, I was there, and I, like, somehow, or someone dropped a black tuner sword um, like outside the castle, and I just ran and picked it up. There was, like, multiple people, like, running, trying to get it. There was, like, probably three or four people running, trying to get it, and I got it, and I was so happy. It was, like, it was, like the the most valuable thing that I have ever had um, at that time. And I was so happy. I just went straight to like scorpions in the Alcard mine and started killing them and I was really happy. He actively plays, you know, it's... <coughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck? Well, this should have been at the bottom. But, uh, what snacks do you like to eat to help you on your way as a <laughs> professional runescaper? Uh, I feel like I should make a video on this, because I think I got... I got it nailed down. Alright, you got... Do you know those big cartons of goldfish? I just heard him pick up that carton of goldfish. <laughs> 30 ounces of goldfish, right here, just like five bucks. That, that is an insane amount of calories per dollar. Like, that is such a good deal. <laughs> Some um, the efficient. Yeah. <laughs> Salty and crackers are the same deal. Um, granola bars are fantastic. I like two of those a day. Like, they are so filling. I don't, I don't understand. They're only like 200 calories, but it feels like I ate a fucking meal. Um, my only vice is uh, cinnamon graham crackers. Um, they're pretty unhealthy, but I, I really like them, and they're pretty cheap as well. Uh, cinnamon li I eat cinnamon life. Where the hell does your protein come in? Any uh, meat? Why do I need pro Why do I need protein? I was just wondering. I walk like ten feet a day, dude. So, <laughs> um, no veggies or fruit or anything. Uh, no. I drink orange juice. I actually drink a lot of orange juice. Um, I buy like eight of these when I go to Walmart. They're two liters each, so good. Get like four, thirty-two things of water bottles, uh, some orange juice, a little bit of soda. Soda's actually soda's a pretty big vice of mine, but I'm trying to cut back on that. Um, but I don't know. I'm not like overweight or anything. In fact, I've lost weight since like no. the end of the year. Well, well, the picture we saw where your hair was longer than hell. You looked a bit chubby. What was up with that? That, that, that was the resolution of that photo was... <laughs> uh, yeah, you're playing with the picture? Yes. Dude, you look, you look fat with some lo nasty long hair. Oh. We all went no. through that. You looked like a cousin of sick nerd. Yeah, that sick nerd selfie. Whoa, that's a bit I've, too I've, far. Never, I've never been overweight. <laughs> well, that picture seems to argue differently. Uh, people are asking for the link. I don't know where it is. Uh, maybe Jiklum can find no. it. No. But, uh... Can't find it. <laughs> <laughs> the camera adds 10 pounds. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I, wear like, I wear like 152 and I'm 6 foot tall. Alright, Jiklum. Um... No specific snacks, I just eat whatever mummy cooks me. I think the only thing that would make it easy for them is perhaps if you have one guy who's playing, um, who lives in Florida, and then you have another guy who's playing on the other side of the world in Sweden, you know, that's pretty fucking easy. You can see that that is a kind of sharing. But, I mean, if they're... Is it more they what they fine. should do... Is fly Solus and Texas out to RuneFest, and we do a live competition. <laughs> heads up, heads up, five v five on the main stage, just like the fucking League of Legends Worlds tournament. We got the headsets. We're in glass cages, so we can't hear anybody. We have wow. commentators. Just be the we have two thousand dollar DX racer chairs. That's what I want, and we have Modweth in a referee outfit. With <laughs> 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 <laughs>
He gives Chance a red card for using a 1 to 3. <laughs> and then I get, they get thrown <laughs> out. <laughs> That'd be funny. He throws, throws his flag and I fucking get thrown <laughs> he blows out. His with him. First, and then he throws his flag out. <laughs> oh my god. This is the best image in my mind right now. <laughs> Did you make that up on the spot, or was that something you've been fantasizing I've been fantasizing about? I've about this for a while. <laughs> yeah, I had a laptop. I played for about, well, since the start of old school to about three months ago, I had a laptop, but and then I got clean staking and destroyed it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, I, I completely, a bit. I'll try and find the screenshot you later. I sent it to my friend on Facebook, but it was obliterated. But, um, what yeah, the so fuck happened? 360 for a desktop. Somebody just traded me this old Dell Optelec 755, and it's actually not a bad little machine. But I'll never go back to laptops after that. But yeah, basically, I put. Give us the fucking story. Phone. What the fuck yeah. happened? I was at the Jewel Arena. Got clean for like 400 mil or something. Fucking. Boom, fist went through the screen, the screen wasn't working, <laughs> drop kicked it several times, it was all hanging in pieces, fucking bits flying everywhere, my fist was bleeding, my fucking leg was bleeding. My grandma was shouting at me because I was smashing shit up and it was just it just wasn't a good time, man. It wasn't a good time. Shit. But now I have a desktop and it's okay. <laughs> man, was that a one stake YOLO or was that several losses? Several, several many oh, losses. Man. That's, that's, that's why I think that's why I got so angry. Quick. But yeah, it was a pretty stupid thing, but I've ended up with a better computer because of it, so... <laughs> Sorry. I, th I think RuneFest would be a whole lot of fun. Yeah, definitely. I like, you know, I like, Trance, I like Trance's idea. You know, I would wear jersey. like... Um, we all got yeah. jerseys and went to like hexes all together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you could get... I, I could put a... I could put like a... Like a gold, like a gold star, like on my shoulder, and just well, be you like, have like a key on your. I, yeah, yeah, I, I could have like a key, randalicious. You guys could have your little fucking gold stars. <laughs> Imagine we all stood in line. That's the in squad, our dude. Ranks. No, no, we need a booth. We need a hexes booth. That's what we can. <laughs> no, we Set had a, up a hexes panel. booth. Meet, so we had a panel, greet. and Randy was in the middle. Yeah. Have like. Me and Gain on one side, and you and Clayton on the other okay, side. Okay, all right. Next year, we'll contact Ronan. We'll get a Hexus booth <laughs> set up by RuneFest 2016. It's gonna happen, guys. Uh, see you next week. See you in two weeks for next podcast. Live Hexus podcast. Oh, could you imagine if we had a podcast just at RuneFest? Oh my God! Yes. Yes. Can we take questions from people? Oh, that would be beautiful. <laughs> Oh, uh, we can only dream. Just take over <laughs> the stage, mate. Just kick him off. Oh, man. I've... Guy, guy in the chat says Portal will have a 10 minute cooldown. It's a pretty good idea. Oh, I, no, I, no, do, cool I do like that. That would no be... Cooldown. Please tweet the that mods and cool. tell them that. <laughs> they could either... Also... Alright. Moving on. Um, what, for you guys, what is your best RuneScape memory? That you've had. Me? Yeah. At <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, I, you. Yes. Look, I, I I want to start out my sentence with me, but it was when I was new to God Wars. I I would go there, and I would try to kill Grar. Sometimes I wouldn't even get a kill. And but well, no, I went there in the sky. He took my world. I wouldn't even call it my world, but I crashed him anyways. And he had his yak and stuff. He was like max combat, and I had like a lunt god sword trying to get a kill. But I finally got one. It was a chest plate, and I didn't know what to do. I was like, oh my god, I don't even have a teleport out of here. And so I asked him for a telly. He, he didn't give me one, but you know the altar has a telly. I didn't do that. Didn't even know it had one. I actually home teleported out. And yeah. Thankfully, he had the minions on him as well. Yeah, that, that'd be my best memory. I was crashing a BCP, my first item ever. Um, If the top two players <laughs> both died or something, who do you think would be the first to 200 mil all? Also, wow, this so, is... So, EHP or overall? So, best folder. EHP. EHP. Okay. 
Um, uh, and then obviously runes. two two parter on that. <laughs> then um, a betting man would put his money on rank three EHP. <laughs> <laughs> That's what a betting man would do. I think trance would. Yeah, I think trance would, and I would also say Malthlikis would have a uh, good potential to get it because. Like, his EHP is very scaled down because he did Slayer way before all the Slayer updates. Oh, yeah. Um, so if he actually decided to go for 200 mil all, I think he would actually be one of the first because he plays so much, and yeah. I know for a while he had, like, the most overall time played in the game. So he does put in the hours, yeah. We all know who, you know, Trance might get it, Bjorn might get it, one person will get it, Cap King. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter when he gets it, all that matters is that he will get he it. He will get it. But the question was the first, the 200 mil. He was living. fucking shit up before you were here, and it'd be fucking shit up long after you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, Triple, that was very rude. I want, I want to say Razor is also a strong candidate, just because of his age. He's, he's uh, ripe. He's ripe. He's yeah, ripe. man. He, he came fresh out of womb. He's still he's, good. He's still good he, go. Rank, if, if you uh, get rid of, um, if you like downscales, he, he's top 15 EHP, and he's 16 years old. I'm sitting here at fucking 22. He would be able to get 200 mil all by the time he's my age, so like... If he if he kept on the pace that he's at, I think he's one of the strongest contenders for 200 mil all. If the top two died from like a seizure or something <laughs> <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> at the same time, <laughs> I would I would probably have to say probably trans. Links would get to fishing either. before the seizure, though, wouldn't they? So he's gonna <laughs> use them out of it. <laughs> Yeah, too, too, soon. too soon. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I I don't know how the fuck that even can be enforced. I don't know what the sh I don't know what the hell's going on. I think being permanently banned is absolutely ridiculous. Just don't let the account log into on Deadman because it's I'm like a completely different server. So yeah, completely separate. It's like getting banned for breaking funnel rules. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And on, are they gonna change the rules of RuneScape at the bottom to say you can't use a mule for dead man? No. Yeah, so how are they gonna tell people? 16. How, how are they yeah. gonna tell people you can't do it when it says explicitly in the rules of RuneScape that you can make an alt and trade between your alts freely? How are they gonna enforce this rule and tell people that it's a rule and then ban? Like it's so ridiculous. It is so ridiculous. It's called Jagex logic. If Mod Luna was to have the same job as Chris Archie, do you think you'd give her as much shit as you give him? Uh, someone please link Mod Luna's Twitch, or I'm sorry, Twitter in the chat. Uh, if Mod yeah, really Luna, looking her up. if Mod Luna was doing uh, Chris oh. Archie's job, I think oh, she yeah. would. Uh, I think she, I think she would have done an absolutely fantastic job. <laughs> And would have gotten nothing but praise from me. You're, she you're may. I. I would probably put her as like the best person on the team. <laughs> I. I think. I think. I think. I'd give Luna hella praise and say she's just fantastic and everything about her is flawless. <laughs> Trance, what about you? Um, she earned a follow right off the bat. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Yeah, uh, Would it be Chris Archie's personality on Mod Luna's body? Because I still hate his personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh shit! I mean, you can dig, you can dig into it as much as you want. <laughs> let's say, let's say Mod Luna's body with Chris Archie's actions. Not personality. So would she say? Seems pretty cool after every question. <laughs> uh, no, she wouldn't even ask the questions. She would just lay there on the couch looking sexy as hell. All I know is I'd have my Kleenex ready. <laughs> <laughs> How many more people do you think would watch those weekly Q&As? <laughs> oh, dude, they would double their viewer base. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, man. I uh, tweeted at Luna like a week or two ago and Bob said that she was... body with Chris Arcee's face. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be very that'd be very ugly. I think Luna has a pretty face. <laughs> I will uh I'll take anything that devalues a slow skill. Shout out Matto. Um, You're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um uh, you know uh snitching. They uh really really anything that increases low XP skills, I don't give a fuck. Define low XP. Ah. <sighs> Well, all right. let me say I would have preferred the five percent bonus from <laughs> mining no. to be ten percent. Oh, I would have settled for fifteen, and not been mad. Okay, well, just make it hundred. <laughs> um, this is just selfish now. <laughs> yeah. Um. See, they could they they could make that addition to the skill the uh, wood cutting perk as well. Um, they could do it to fishing too. Sure, why not? Are you alright? I'm okay with that. They could come out with a 75k agility course. That'd be okay. You know, stuff, things. There was everything. It wasn't even barbarian fishing. Should have that. There you. That doesn't make a difference. It's gonna be junk anyway. Well, yeah. it's just arbitrary fish. <laughs> um, Everything's arbitrary fish, man. What what else is oh, there? I've got goose buffs. My life is. Alright, um, so when we win the skilling cup, uh, just theoretically, if, you, if we can make any uh, adjustments to the Hexus statue, what what kind of changes would you make to it if you could? Uh, get rid of the ginger beard. <laughs> oh, 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 shit. Unattractive. Uh, I guess you get rid of the runecrafting cape and replace it with a max cape, but besides from that, I don't really care. Now I'm gonna put a reindeer hat on there. Oh, could do. Or pigtails. You know, fake your peck. <laughs> what, about a, what about a mime shirt with that little brown tint? Perhaps. Oh. You never had the brown tint on your player. It only had the brown tint in your invent. How long did terrifying. it? How long did it take for them to fix that? A week. <laughs> a fucking week. That should have been an immediate bug fix. They should have I came was fishing at Saturday. the time. They should have seen it like two every, times a minute. Have to look at it every eight. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I, th I think a max max cape would be nice. Uh, that'd really be the only adjustment I'd like to be seen done to it. I don't think it would be difficult to do, although I'll ask Alfred if it's if it is indeed possible. Um, but although if we do get the max cape, we I don't know max max cape hood or a Santa hat. You know, <laughs> no, I don't. I, although I don't know what we do for a hood though if we added on the max cape. I'm pushing for the reindeer hat. It's oh, the yeah, most definitive the skilling innovation in the last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, no, I, I'm, no, I'm no, not, no. I'm not objected to it either. That would, that can would it, raise can awareness. Can it be mid prance? Can it be mid prance? It would raise awareness. Oh no, no not like mid prance. I would like that actually. Oh, everyone's gonna have a hat soon. I'm gonna anyway. push for that. Max gives a good idea, but maybe adding an infernal axe or pickaxe just for the last year. Bring it up to date some more. Yeah, I want a mahogany plank on it. <laughs> and that. And the clockwork cake following. <laughs> Look, I'm skill hopping while I'm skill hopping. So, yeah. how it's just it's doing one skill is too mentally challenging. I'll just be skill hopping a lot. <laughs> Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. We out here. <laughs> the last thing I heard said was Randy is going to skill hop. Uh, I, yeah, 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 you know, uh... Oh my god! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. We out here, back at it again, at Krispy Kreme. Can't stop us. So, I only had to relight like 19 times. So, alright. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna be hopping around from skill to skill. Alright. 
The removal of the wilderness ditch was pulled recently, and this is the second time that it's been pulled, and yet again it failed. It seems unlikely that they would offer to a third time to remove this, um, which I find being unfortunate. But uh, what did you guys vote for in it, and why? Well, I'm speaking as the guardian preserver of the old school field now, and I'm laying down the law. Artificially altering the game so it is more old school ruins the old school feel. That is <laughs> to make it Somebody look quote more that. old school is artificially altering I, it. I it want ruins a the old school feel. On my wall that says that quote. <laughs> Dash trickle. That was beautiful. The picture of the I old Barrel it. Fountain. Yes. I tweeted it and everybody w and like nobody paid me any mind. They're like, oh, we've got to replace him. We've got to replace him. <laughs> artificially altering the game cater to the old school feel <laughs> ruins it and to bring back a hashtag from a previous podcast keep the ditch bitch what i have to say to eighty-seven thousand bots being banned not enough not enough <laughs> well you complain about if they all got banned and your resources were expensive hey i will you find know? i will find a way to complain about anything um, looking at the hold on, let, let me this is something that i wanted to tweet about um, when they made the announcement about the uh, skilling cup or the clan cup when they said oh you know there'll be the pvp there'll be pvm and skilling i don't give a fuck but like pvp and pvm were capitalized which they should be but skilling wasn't capitalized fuck <laughs> capitalize the s for skilling cup come on just come on we're people too I am the least modest motherfucker. Hey, when when we win the skilling cup, I will be the sorest winner you could possibly imagine. I'm look I'm looking forward to the Twitter banner. Oh, I've got so many Yu-Gi-Oh cards saved up. <laughs> <laughs> I've been collecting cards to add to my deck for a while. I'm ready to put. I'm ready to put them in play. Was that the nerdiest statement of all time? <laughs> <laughs> all right, got got a question. Another good, another good one here. Uh, what would your guy's name be good if one? you were a girl? <laughs> <laughs> um, what would you want it to be? I would want my name personally to be Stool. <laughs> to be what? Stu. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you sound like a sick old woman. <laughs> I'd have to go with uh, Hannah. Seems like a name that makes nice fat gains on RuneScape, so I'd go with that one. I've been told that if I was born a girl, I would have been called Simone. <laughs> <laughs> Simone! Anything but Simone. <laughs> um, let me, let me think. Uh, about um, Aurora. Yeah, it's, it's very elegant. I like that. Sounds like a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I like mine. I like mine. Uh, is, um, had I been uh, born a girl, uh, my name would have been Miranda, and I still would have, and I still would have gone by Randy. <laughs> I was told I would have been called Alice if I was a girl, but if I had a choice, I would have been a uh, Harmony. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into meat here. What do you guys? I'm, what do you, shit? What do you think is the best RuneScape Twitch emote? I don't know why this was fucking ass. Oh, uh, this first. is easy. It's easy for me. It's uh, just something that I helped inspire, and it's the the mahogany plank and the dollar sign and a red donation. <laughs> uh, my favorite is uh, Emily Excite. From uh, Emilia's Pro. <laughs> All right, I don't know if mine's been implemented yet, but I saw some guy made a um, a feels bad man emote, but instead of the uh, play frog, he had a uh, a RuneScape frog mask, and he was feels old school man. <laughs> <laughs>
I don't know if it got implemented yet, but <laughs> that's if it is, good. that's definitely my favorite. Yeah. Uh, you, I do really like the random donation one, um, but I, there was this one time um, when Brungus was drunk as hell streaming, and there were, people were just spamming my face in the chat, and for some reason I thought that was fucking awesome. There was like two people spamming your face, and hey, you didn't have any hey. chat restrictions. I think so. one of them was you, Randy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 I like it. I li the the ran the ran sup's awesome. Um, I wish um sick nerd did one of his face. That would be really good. But yeah. Well, the layout for this one is much better than the last one, so. I will agree with that. Yeah. But I feel I think like I kind of like the arena thing though. I mean, I feel like the. the yeah, we'll we'll talk more about that later. I know there's a question. Well, actually, next fucking one. But <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, to leave leave it open ended then. So, like, what are you guys thoughts about how the skilling cups uh, about to be played out this year? With it be what appears to be. If I can get prayer for less than three bill, that would be just fantastic. I am so fucking far away from that shit. I cannot believe how expensive it is. Hey, every motherfucker out there, start killing some goddamn green drags. You get 1.5 mil a fucking hour. Start the green drag goddamn movement, motherfuckers. D-bones are going to be hitting 4K each soon. Start killing green drags. We need some more fucking bones. All right, so <clears throat> are there any goals that you set for yourself in the last year that you never ended up completing? If so, what were they? Um, rank one con didn't get that. <laughs> uh, Dude, what happened? <laughs> I didn't really have a prayer goal, but I burnt on that too, and then recently been burning on Slayer. He didn't have a goal, and he still failed it. <laughs> That's rough. Drink one con, I'd say. Here, hey man, <laughs> let, let me tell you, I had so much food. The art right, here, here's a warning. You guys have two seconds to mute your mic or mute the sound of the uh, podcast. So, all right. So I fucking had so much goddamn food yesterday, dude. I took five shits, and you know, like when you're what? like, oh, hold, oh, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Why did they mute? Five, <laughs> five That's shits. Not healthy. You, dude, like you know how you know how like if you take five shits in a day, you're probably pretty sick. Diarrhea all over the fucking place. Yeah. Nah, man, these are some solid ass shits. Five fucking times yesterday. I had so much food. I take like five shits a week. <laughs> <laughs> I had five yesterday. Holy fuck. Can you believe Ran wanted to skip this question? Wouldn't that know, be yeah. stupid? <laughs> um, you know, this guy does not... This is, I guess, his coming out party. And... Well, what did you guys think about his AMA? What were some of the best highlights from it? Did you enjoy reading it? What have you? Um, I was surprised that he did it. Um, what's even more surprising is the fact that he spends five minutes outside... For a week? What the fuck is he doing with those five minutes? <laughs> like, really? Like, Smoke, what the fuck? Smoking a fat dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Five minutes? Are you kidding me, dude? Like, 30 seconds taking out the trash maximum. <laughs> but I say. <laughs> disappointed, really. I mean, the is pretty fucking good, but I couldn't eat it every day for four years in a row. <laughs> but just imagine. Really fucking fast to do. I thought the storyline behind it was kind of dumb, like. Why would Auntie Santa give away his plans that easily? If he's been working, he's been working all year to try to destroy Christmas, and he gave away his plan. He gave away his plans in thirty seconds. It's like Anti Santa's not real or something. This Anti Santa is the school team. <laughs> it horrible storyline. Horrible storyline. Also. 
I just want to take this moment to complain about how big Tree and Varrock is, how ugly it oh. is. Uh, to answer the question, oh, I don't mind how they approach giving them out. However, I've never understood the correlation between um, party hats and Christmas events. Alright, so on the Q&A, on the most recent Q&A, Archie said he really likes the idea of a rooftop agility course on top of the God Wars dungeon where you will run around and see people <laughs> killing the boss and you can potentially oh. fail it and fall into the boss room. <laughs> I'm, cha I'm changing the question. How stupid of an idea is that? <laughs> Not what are your thoughts. How stupid is Give me a rating 1 to 10. 10 being, I'd like to thank 10 you, being uh, the worst thing since the GE rooftop agility. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this idea a Yukori. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's probably one of the dumbest things I've ever heard in my life. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it at Yukori. When, when you played in class, when you played in class, would you ever consider playing in like the first row or something, or is it back row I did. only? Back row only. Yeah, I was this gonna past ask. semester, we played in the front, or like in the middle. You played in the front row. Oh, <laughs> shit. I was about to ask if you guys like hide it or not. In <laughs> class, absolutely, <laughs> dude. You're sitting in the back row. so. Actually, I just put that shit right in the middle. I was telling them I was staking. I had like 30 people huddling around me watching this. <laughs> in the middle of class. The chunk. 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 Cheering. The class was like. Well, rip. <laughs> we got back to normal, you know? Psychology of gambling. Yeah. Me and Charles were talking about this a couple of weeks ago. Like, imagine if you're just playing RuneScape in the back of your class and you hear a familiar RuneScape sound coming uh, from the black of the group. The imbue, the imbue, the imbue. Oh, guys, and just nod at him. <laughs> No, no, even better, if you just hear Cap King screaming, yeah, from the back row. <laughs> Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> yeah, 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 she was like going face down. Oh. They even like Photoshop blood on MJ's face to make it look Dude, like it is... Twitter just. Yeah, I, I saw the one when Rousey was on the ground. It had like, uh, you know, like from The Lion King where uh, Simba is like uh, trying to like wake up Mufasa, like, you know, like, when he's on the ground dead. Yeah. It was like Spoilers. doing that. <laughs> yeah, spoiling if you haven't seen The Lion King! Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was worried about Star Wars spoilers, you're gonna fucking ruin the movie of the millennia. <laughs> okay. Nope. You've got one bullet, you're not getting a triple collateral. Alright, I'll put it in my own fucking head if I have to make this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Come on, Trickle, man up. You can do it. <laughs> I think that's an adequate answer, personally. Alright, this is Randalicious, and this has been the first edition of the Best and Worst of the Hexes podcast. Big thanks to Jane Bino and Trickle for putting it all together, and for being all around amazing people. And from all of us at the Hexes leadership team, I wish you a happy holidays. God bless. Bless. See ya. <sighs>